All right, um, I'm gonna take my chair over here. So it's available. And again, if you happen to have extra props, like a couple of yoga blocks, you could substitute those with two canned goods of equal size and weight, or a strap, you could substitute that with a scarf or a belt, and maybe hand weights, nothing more than two pounds, I would say, for your hand weights, so that no one gets injured because they get overzealous. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's just start by, I'm gonna have the chair nearby, and we're gonna do a combination of probably standing and then sitting in the chair. So, and some of these moves standing, you could also do sitting in the chair. So just bear that in mind. Just notice what the mind and the body is saying, what they're asking for, and just modify as you need. Just listen to what the body is saying, all right? So let's start with the legs about a little wider than shoulder distance apart. And we'll just start swinging some arms here and the arms are like empty coat sleeves. The idea here is to shift the weight from side to side. This is a very mild balance challenge. See if you can lift opposite heel as you twist in the other direction. I'm tapping here, a little self massage. You could do right below the collarbone, the clavicle. And the idea is to keep looking over the shoulder as you twist. So you're giving the spine a nice squeeze bringing in fresh blood, chi, life force, breathing. Let's do four more, three more, two, and one. Keep twisting. Now we're tapping on the midriff area, the torso area, and the backhand is going to tap up by the kidneys. So the kidneys are up a little bit higher. They're where the, uh, the shoulder blades sort of terminate, breathing, Twisting for four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then just slowly, slowly bringing it down to stillness. No rush to get there. Oh, nice and easy. The feet could stay wider, maybe a little bit more narrow. We're going to put the hands on the hip crease or the hips. We're going to inhale forward. Exhale, squeeze navel to spine. So we're doing a few hip circles here. You might want to keep the torso relatively out of it. Or once you get the hips moving and want to add in a bit more of the torso, that's an option as well. So we're doing our LSD breaths, our long, slow, and deep breaths. Inhaling forward, exhaling back as you squeeze. Let's do four three, two, one, and then corkscrew back to center and you're gonna swirl the hips in the other direction. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. This direction might not feel the same as the other direction, but you're not gonna indulge in self-judgment, just noticing, observing. Big full breaths here for four, three, Two, one, very nice. Coming back to center. Let's roll some shoulders now. Oh, forgot to say we're all muted. So we, you want to let out sound, sighing, moaning, groaning is just fine. <laughs> you could add that in concert with the pops in your shoulders. <laughs> and you're going to keep moving them as we pump synovial fluid into the shoulder girdle. Let's do four. Three, two, one, and then circle the other direction. Big full breaths. See if you can draw the breath all the way down to the bottom lobes of the lungs. Let's do four, three, two, one. Very nice. Let's shake the arms out. So now here we're just rotating the humerus bone in the shoulder girdle, the socket there up here at the top. And here again, we're pumping synovial fluid into that shoulder, both sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Arms come to stillness. Knees will be soft here. Inhale, float the arms up to the sky. Exhale, press the arms down by the side of the body. Inhale up. Exhale, press. Stretch both arms up. I have an injury on one side, so I'm modifying. Big full breaths as you stretch the fingertips to the sky. Exhaling all the stale air out as you come down to this baby squat. Let's do four more. Three more. Two. One. Let's float the arms back up overhead. Keeping the chest square to the front of your screen or your space, you're going to start climbing an invisible rope, grounding through the four corners of each foot so you're stable through the feet, stable through the legs. Nice little tug to those intercostal muscles that attach to the side ribs. Let's do four, three, two, one, very nice. And arms are gonna float down so they're parallel to the earth now. Palms face the earth. Let's just bounce the arms. The arms are straight. See if you can drop shoulders away from the ears so you're not scrunching up by your ears. Let those blades slide down the back of the body here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now the arms come to stillness. Fingers are spread wide, as wide as you can get them. Stretching out the tendons, you're gonna rotate the thumbs towards the earth. And then maybe the thumbs point to the back wall, open the chest here for four, three, two, one. Thumbs rotate back down towards the earth, forward to the front of your space, up to the ceiling, maybe to the back wall, maybe to the floor, but don't force anything, please, for four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then the palms face the earth one more time. Now let's bend the elbows. And we're going to just pinch here. Exhale as you pinch. Inhale, bringing the hands forward. So I've got the palms facing down towards the earth. And we're just going to Squeeze and pinch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then just coming here, let's go ahead and exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale for eight, seven, stretch the arms wide, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms can float down, resist the gravity, just don't let them flop. Oh, it's okay to say, ow, shake out the shoulders. <laughs> and then from here, Let's just drop the chin to the center of the chest and just notice the weight of the head here as it stretches out the back of the neck. The right ear is going to roll over to the right shoulder and then you're going to come back to center like you're scraping something off of the chin, left ear to left shoulder. And you just move from side to side. We're just doing a half circle, not a full circle. Noticing range of motion on the left side. Noticing range of motion on the right side. Are they the same? Maybe, maybe not. And just noticing again, no kind of judgment here. Let's bring that chin back to center. Float the chin parallel to the earth. Just turn the face to the right. Noticing range of motion. Coming back to center, turn the face to the left. Is the range the same on this side? Just moving from side to side, standing tall, abdominals engaged, crown of head floating up to sky. Let's do four, three, two, 
one. Very nice. And then just coming back to center, nice and easy. That's one more time. Take the arms out to the side. This time, you can take the feet a little bit wider. Slide the ribs over to the right. Come back to center. Slide just the ribs over to the left. So everything from the waist down is stationary, is still. You're just moving those ribs side to side, isolating them, squeezing those internal organs, pumping in fresh blood and life force in there. Let's do four. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come back to center. Now only the torso is going to move. Exhale to the right. Arms are fixed. Back to center. Exhale to the left. Back to center. So it's only the ribs moving. The arms are fixed and stationary. For four. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Come back to center. Again, float the arms down, triple slow time. Shake everything out there. Let's take the feet directly underneath the hips. The toes could point forward. If you wanna have a finger or two on your chair, maybe on a wall, for support, let's lift the right heel up and we're gonna spread those five toes nice and wide. Lower the right heel, lift the left heel, spread the five toes nice and wide, lower it down. Lifting right, lifting left, getting that pace, getting your own rhythm going nice and steady for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. You could keep going at this pace, but if you want to add in double time, you could bicycle pedal the heels for eight or not. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep pedaling. And then maybe start lifting the feet and the legs, little baby march here. So see if you can stand nice and tall, abdominals engaged, opposite arm and opposite leg, moving to the front for eight, seven, maybe lift the legs a little higher, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep marching. Now it's going to be out, out, in, in, step, out, step, in, eight, seven, six, <clears throat> five, four, three, two, <clears throat> and one. Very nice. And then back to center, <clears throat> slowly de escalating on your baby march. <clears throat> For four, three, two, and one. And then slowly the feet and the legs come to stillness. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and keep the feet directly under the hips. If you need support, be near your chair or your wall or your piece of furniture that doesn't move. The feet are gonna stay flat. Inhale, knees track over toes. Stretching out the Achilles tendon and the calf muscles. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, straight. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay down on one, little pumps. Eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Re straighten the legs, come slowly to standing. Let's put one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Maybe the eyes want to drop closed here, or it could be a soft gaze on the earth. And just noticing the shifts in the body. 
heart beating, blood moving, chi moving throughout the system. And let's focus on three part Durga breath now. So inhale, belly expands, rib cage expands, collarbones lift, noticing the pause at the top. Exhaling, collarbones, rib cage, belly, squeezing out all the air and noticing the pause at the bottom. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, noticing the silence at the top. Exhaling, chest, ribs, belly, squeezing out all the air and noticing the silence at the bottom. Two more, just like that on your own. Inhale, filling it, filling it, filling it, pausing at the top. Exhaling, squeezing out all the air and pausing at the bottom. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And then just arriving back here to neutral. Let's grab our chairs. I'm going to face the back of the chair and I won't mirror you for this. So the feet are directly under the hips. The toes are gonna to point forward. Let's keep the left foot forward and take the right foot back. And we're gonna keep the torso upright, but we're gonna just stretch out this Achilles tendon here and the calf muscles and the long, long muscles there at the back of the leg for four, three, two, one, stretching out hamstring, right foot comes forward, left foot comes back, stretching out Achilles tendon, hamstrings, calf muscles for four, three, two, one, left foot comes back. Let's take the right foot back again. Now, the torso is gonna to stay upright. The legs are fairly wide to make sure you have enough stability. So imagine you're squeezing the thighs together, almost like you're squeezing a, a giant exercise ball between your, leg, your thighs. You're gonna inhale, lift the back right heel. Exhale, press it into the earth. Lifting and pressing for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Very nice. Let's go ahead and tilt the pelvis, or the, rather the torso forward. You're gonna grab the sides of the chair. You're gonna float the right leg and we're gonna point the toe. You touch the toe down, lift the whole straight leg up, touching and lifting. Don't let the head dangle here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, refloat it, flex the right foot. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, stretch the leg away. Bending and straightening for four, three, two, one, re-straighten, point the toe. Touch the toe down left. You might follow the foot with your gaze, lifting the foot, going over to the right. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that right foot over to the left. Tuck the five toes. Lift up that right heel, inhale, lift. Exhale, press it into the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Right foot meets the left. Let's just micro bend the knees left and right. Oh. Float the torso up slowly. You could use the back of the chair to assist. 
and then coming to standing one more time behind your chair. Right foot stays forward, left foot goes back. Torso is gonna stay upright, lifting back left heel. Inhale, lift, exhale, press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Now you're tilting the torso forward, again, grabbing the sides of the chair, floating that left leg, the toe is pointed. Touch and lift the straight leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, refloat it, flex the left foot, inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten the leg away for four, three, two, one, re-straighten, point the toe, that left foot touches down right, lift the leg, foot touches down left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. That foot goes over to the right. You tuck the five toes, lift the heel, inhale, lift the heel, exhale, press the heel into the mat, lifting and pressing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Left foot meets the right. Let's micro bend the knees left and right. Slowly come to standing. You can use the back of the chair to assist. And then come on up and we're gonna actually sit in the chair. Wonderful. All right. So if you have your extra props available, that's fine. If you don't have them, don't worry. I'll try my best to offer options. So coming to the front of your chair, you're gonna mindfully place the bum right here close to the front of the seat of the chair. So you're not gonna be sitting in the back and you're not gonna collapse into the chair, all right? Let me make sure I have this handy so I can see where we are. Okay, so you're in your chair. And then from here, let's take the right hand and you're gonna take it to the outside of the left thigh. You're gonna resist with the thigh, with the hand, just mentioning that there's an isometric press going on there. The left hand is gonna gaze at the horizon and just start twisting to the left until you come to your sticking point, wherever that might be. And then you can wrap that back arm around the back of the chair and everything from the waist down is pointing forward. Everything from the waist up is twisting to the left. So we're in a seated twist here. And let's take a few breaths right here in the twist. Just a couple. And now we're gonna slightly release the twist but not come out of it. Inhale, slightly release. Exhale, squeeze and turn, using that back arm for leverage. Inhale, slightly release. Exhale, squeeze and turn. Let's do four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then coming out of the twist, triple slow time, maybe little wiggles to recalibrate. Left hand now grabs outside of right thigh and the right thigh is gonna press against that left hand. Right hand is gonna follow the horizon with the fingertips as you twist to the right. This twist might feel different than the other side. When you come to your sticking point, that back arm can wrap around the back of the chair and you're looking over the right shoulder to the wall behind you. A couple of breaths here in this full twist. And then we're gonna slightly release, but not come out of it. Inhale, slightly release. 
Exhale, squeeze and turn. Inhale, slightly release. Exhale, squeeze and turn. Let's do four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then slowly unwinding out of it, nice and easy. Let's take some fists, fists with each hand. We're gonna place it on the inside of the thighs. The thighs are parallel, they're hip distance apart. Toes point forward. Here's an isometric press. We're going to press those thighs open with the fists. And at the same time, you're resisting with the thighs, pressing in towards the hands. So you can glue your upper arms maybe to those side ribs as you press those thighs apart. And you're going to squeeze the thighs to resist. So start big full breath. Inhale. Start pressing and squeezing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it, shake everything out, shake out the arms and the hands. They were working hard there. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite. So the flat of the hands are gonna go to the outside of the thighs. We're going to push the thighs together while resisting with the thighs as they push outward. So take a deep, full breath. Inhale. Exhale and start squeezing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let it go, <laughs> shake it out, there you go. Now let's take the legs nice and wide. So from here, the toes can point out 30 to 45 degrees, hands can rest on the thighs. We're gonna tilt forward. So the crown of the head still will line up with the tailbone, the back is flat until the whole torso is parallel to the earth. You're not gonna let the head dangle. You're gonna migrate the right shoulder over towards the left knee. Now it's not gonna get there, but you're looking over that left shoulder one more time now in a wide-legged seated twist. You're pressing right hand into right thigh, right thigh into right hand. Big full breaths here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, coming back to center without rising up. Left shoulder migrates over to right thigh. Right forearm can rest on the right thigh. Left hand will press into the thigh, the left thigh. The left thigh presses into the left hand. Now we're looking in a seated twist over the right shoulder. Don't forget the isometric press on the left. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to center, slowly, slowly. Hands can be placed on the thighs as you press upward with the torso, slowly. Big full breaths. Let's keep the legs wide and we're gonna do some, some spine flexibility movements. So see if you can make the spine as flexible as possible. And you're going to lead with the chin. Exhale as you go forward. Inhale, tuck the chin as you rise up. Exhale, going forward, getting that spine moving. Inhale as you bring it up. Let's do four. Three. Two, one, and then coming back to your starting position, just adjusting, wiggling if that feels right. Let's do the opposite movement, tuck the chin. Inhale, tuck the chin, exhale, your head breaks the waves and as you're a little fish or a dolphin or a mermaid, inhale. 
Exhale as you break the waves. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. The legs can come together now. We're going to take our little bird beak hands. So you've got the fingers together and meet the thumbs. So you have little bird beaks for hands. And we're going to start. You're still sitting in your chair and you can start pounding right here in the center of the chest. That's where the thymus gland resides. Thymus, very important for immunity, among other things. And so we're just stimulating some activity here in the thymus, a thymus thump. And then we're going to extend that right arm. And you can either keep on with the bird fingers or you could do the flat of the hand. If you go down the inside of that arm, you're going to flip the arm over coming up and you're going to massage the outer part of the arm. Don't forget the neck and the shoulders when you come up to the top. And we'll about three passes down the inside of the arm, the inside meridians, flip the arm and come up the yang side, the outer side. Don't forget the neck and the shoulder. Let's pass down the arm two more times. Finding your own rhythm, your own pace. Last time down. <clears throat> and coming back up. And let's pause here at the neck and the shoulders. And you can either keep tapping or you can take your fingers or knuckles and just start digging into that big meaty muscle there, right? Where the neck and the shoulder connect. Oh, that's where it gets nice and tight and tense from our stressful world. So we'll give yourself a little massage here. And then when that feels fairly complete, you're gonna still use your left hand. You're gonna take the fingers, wrap the fingers around the right side of the neck, inhale, and then exhale as you draw the fingers to the left and you turn the face to the right. Oh, we'll do this three times. Inhale, wrap the fingers around the side of the neck, exhale as you look to the right. Last time, inhale, wrap the fingers around the neck and then look to the right. Oh yeah. Let's return to the thymus thump in the center of the chest. Waking that baby up. <laughs> and then we're gonna extend the left arm and go down the inside, the inside of the arm, going up the outside, the yang side. So yin and yang. Don't forget to address the neck and the shoulder when you come up to the top. We'll do three passes down the inside of the arm, coming up the outside of the arm. This arm might feel slightly different than the other arm. You're just observing, gathering info here. Oh, this is the last pass. And then you're gonna come up here and address that neck and shoulder area. So if you want to take your bird hands and, and tap up here, or you might want to just take fingers or knuckles and massage that meaty muscle right here where the neck and the shoulder connect. Oh, breathing. Oh, sighing, moaning, groaning, perhaps. Now we're going to take the right hand. The four fingers wrap around the left side of the neck. Inhale, exhale. Right hand pulls to the right. Face looks to the left. Oh. Wrapping the fingers around the neck, twisting and looking to the left. Oh yeah. Nice deep massage. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And then one more time, returning to thymus thump. And now from here, let's go on down to the midriff and we're gonna circle the navel. You can use your bird fingers for this or just the flat of the hand. So we're stimulating the internal organs. Those guys are working 24 seven. So send some love to your internal organs. 
And then you're gonna take fists and just start hitting the sides of your thighs. Moving on back to the buttocks, that's available. And then moving up the back of the body, maybe you can hit the kidneys, maybe you can't. Big full breaths for four. And three. And two. Oh, this feels good. <laughs> and one. Self massage is a great tool. Okay, and then let's bring that to stillness. Very nice. Let's go ahead and if you've got weights, grab them. If not, it's just a soft fist. Let's just go ahead and take the palms facing outward. No weight or one weight in each hand. Inhale, exhale on the bicep curl. Inhale, open. Exhale, bicep curl for eight, seven. Use the muscles, not momentum. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Let's slowly unwind those arms. No weight or one weight in each hand. The palms are going to face the thighs. Exhale, inhale, exhale, opposite legs for eight, seven, sit tall, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Coming back to neutral. Let's just stay on the right for this next part. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for four, three, two, one. Very nice. That leg comes down. Pausing here between sides. Notice right side of body. Notice left side of body. Let's move to the left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale for four, three, two, one. Very nice. Foot floats down, legs uh, come to stillness. Weights can go bye-bye for right now. Let's cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Right ankle crosses over top of left thigh. If you have blocks, you might want to have one in front of you, but if you don't have one, don't worry. So here, the top right foot will always stay flexed. You're going to take your right hand and just gently pump the soft part of the thigh here. Again, working on synovial fluid, lubricating that pelvic girdle which can get really tight, especially if you do things like a lot of hiking or bicycling. It gets very, very tight in there. So we're stretching it out. Let's take the right forearm now. We'll bring that leg to stillness. Right forearm slips under the right calf and you're gonna rock your leg like it's a little baby doll. <laughs> so this could be side to side or you might wanna circle. And if you're circling, be sure you circle in both directions. Nice and gentle. Replace that ankle on top of left thigh. Now, top foot stays flexed. Arms float up. Inhale up. Exhale. Stretching over the legs, maybe the fingertips come to the earth. If they don't, they might come to a block or another chair if you have a seat of a chair in front of you. Otherwise, grab opposite elbows and hang out with the legs here at the top. Now this is where you not only have the top foot flexed, you're gonna externally rotate the top foot. You should immediately feel it in your outer right hip. So we're gonna pause here. This could be a static press or maybe little rocks, micro movement side to side might feel good. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Back to neutral, loading the torso upright very slowly, unwinding the top leg. And then right forearm goes behind the back of the right thigh, sitting tall. 
Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten the leg. We'll do four, three, two, one. Very nice. We bend the knee, right hand on right knee, and just circle any icky things that might have crept in there, bubbles of air, and then you're going to circle the other way. Oh. And bringing that to stillness. Let's cross left ankle on top of right thigh. Left ankle on top of right thigh. The top left foot stays flexed. We're going to take the left hand, forearm rather, underneath the calf, and we're going to rock the baby. We'll do the other part. I didn't forget that. We'll just do it out of order. That's all. <laughs> and let's circle if you're circling in both directions. And then replacing that ankle, you're going to take your left hand. Let's do a little pulse with the thigh. So you're pressing on that soft part of the thigh, not the knee joint. Again, lubricating the left side of the pelvic girdle. Let's bring that to stillness. Top foot stays flexed. Arms float up. Inhale up. Exhale, stretching over. This may be a different experience on this side. Maybe the hands come to the earth. Maybe they don't. Maybe they come to a block or a chair seat. Maybe they don't. Grab opposite elbows up at the top. Now the top foot is flexed. The top foot is also externally rotated. You should feel it immediately in the outer right hip. External, but let the foot goes out. So maybe little rocks here from side to side might feel good, or it could be a static press for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Let's come on up slowly. Unwinding the top leg, left forearm comes behind the back of the left thigh. Foot stays flexed. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten for four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then rebending the knee, left hand on left kneecap, and you're going to just circle this femur bone into the pelvic girdle. Circle both ways. Very nice. And then just to finish off, we'll do a little few more abdominal squeezing here. So close to the front of the seat of the chair, crown of head to tailbone, flat. You're going to come back. You might want to lift one leg and then add a second leg or do one at a time. And you're going to flutter those feet. And you're going to pump the belly while you're fluttering, fluttering your feet for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Coming slowly back down to earth. Maybe sitting all the way back in your chair. Let's take a few big breaths. Inhale up. Exhale, press it away. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, press it away. Last time. Inhale up. Exhale, press. And here you can sit all the way back into your chair. The hands could be flat on the thighs. So the palms down would be for grounding and stability. If you want to have your palms up. That's for receiving any messages from the universe. So you can choose which works for you. And once you've got yourself organized in your chair, feet flat, crown of head lifting to sky, go ahead and allow the eyes to drop closed. And scan the body for any residual tension that might remain. Imagining relaxation forming in the feet, moving up into the ankles, the low legs, the knees, the thighs, the hips, the torso, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, and that relaxation moving into neck, 
and head all the way to the crown of the head. Noticing back body and front body, right side and left side. Noticing the whole body together, the whole body together, the whole body together. And here's a brief poem called Let It Go. Let go of the ways you thought life would unfold, the holding of plans or dreams or expectations. Let it all go. Save your strength to swim with the tide. Let it all go and flow with the grace that washes through your days, whether you receive it gently or with all your quills raised to defend against invaders. Take this on faith. The mind may never find the explanations that it seeks, but you will move forward nonetheless. Let go and the wave's crest will carry you to unknown shores beyond your wildest dreams or destinations. Let it all go and find the place of rest and peace and certain transformation. If you'd like to remain here in Shavasana for as long as feels right, please feel free to do just that. But if you're ready to meet the day, begin to bring some gentle movement to fingers and toes and arms and legs. And as you are ready, drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug. If you're on the earth, some of you may be on the earth. Otherwise, just sit right there. And then on the next inhale, let's float the arms up overhead, palms meet together, coming down the midline, stopping at the heart, Samastiti. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you stand in the light of your own true self. I salute the bright light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Jai Bhagwan. I will stop the recording.